Good afternoon, everybody. Master Heine here with another self-defense lesson for you. Uh, as you notice today, we are outside on a running path, so our self-defense focus today is going to be based on running safety. Now, I'm not talking about the proper materials, you know, shoes, knee wraps, anything of that sort. No, I'm talking about how do you run safe and prevent yourself from being attacked by somebody that's either trying to abduct you or even just attack you simply while you're enjoying a nice walk or run. So, unfortunately, this is something that can happen anywhere, whether you're hiking, you're walking, you're running, you're in a forest reserve, you're up in a mountain, and it's happening more and more every day. Before COVID started, I was actually involved in a lot of different running groups, running self-defense courses for this, because a lot of members, at least in my community, were victims of being attacked while they were running. So let's go over a few tips to make sure that you can stay safe while you are running. Number one, the time of the day is very important for when you want to decide to go running. I understand with people's schedules, sometimes it's more convenient to go in the morning, sometimes it's more convenient to go at night. Perfectly fine, but just understand that when you are going during those times, that there's a good chance that you are going to be by yourself as not many other people are gonna be up late or up early in the morning. So there is a greater risk of you being targeted by a predator if you are out alone. Now. I personally would recommend going a little bit later in the morning or closer to the afternoon when people are out and about. There's more people on the path. Therefore, with larger crowds, predators are less likely to target you out of everyone else. Just simply because of the amount of people, it's too risky for them to target one person and without being seen by somebody else. So my preference, stick to the afternoons if possible. If you are going in the mornings and the evenings, just understand it is a greater risk. Number two, the location at which you run is very important. And what I mean is you have to switch up where you're running or walking on a regular basis. Do not get into a habit of running or walking the same path every single day or at the same time. Understand that predators look for consistency in their victims. So they are gonna look for someone that's on the same path at the same time every day. That way they can kind of learn what the best time is for them to attack you without drawing the attention of nearby civilians. So if you're walking the same path, just understand you are at a greater risk by being targeted by a predator. How do we avoid that? Switch up your destinations. Run different forest reserves, find different walkways, find different paths, and also change up the time of day. If you decide that you wanna run in the morning, then maybe one day run a little bit later in the morning, run closer to the afternoon, but just keep yourself changing up your schedule as much as you're able to do. I understand not everyone's gonna be able to do this, but the best that you can do it, you drastically can reduce your chances of being targeted in the first place. Number three, when it comes to music, and I know everyone likes to listen to music, or at least most people like listening to music when they're working out, do not wear both headphones at the same time, and I really emphasize this across all boards of self-defense. If you are completely oblivious to what's going on around you in regards to noise and audio, you have no idea what's going to happen. So your best bet, always keep at least one ear open. That way, one, if there's any wildlife in the area, depending on where you live, you can make sure that you're staying safe from that. But two, you can hear if somebody's coming after you. Now, that can mean if someone's hiding nearby or merely if there's another runner, a bike rider, whatever the case is, you can hear that before it gets to you. So therefore, at least you're a little bit more alert in what's going on. When you completely put in those music, you cut off everything that's around you. And I don't care what you say, you are going to start tunnel visualing, one, on the music, and two, what you're doing physically. You're not going to be paying attention to your surroundings because you can't physically hear it. So do me a favor, take off one earbud, and you'll drastically notice a difference in how alert you are with your surroundings. Number four, run with a buddy as much as possible, or if anything, run with a group. Find a running group and run with them. The reason is, is again, predators are looking for single individual people that are by themselves and vulnerable. If you're with somebody else or with a group of people, it's a greater chance that the predator is going to move on and either find somebody else or just, you know, not even bother at that point at all. Because again, there's too many people. Predators do not want high risk situations. They want something that's quick, easy, undetectable, that they can get in and get out, do what they need to do and not have to worry about being caught. If there's multiple people now, not only do they have to deal with struggling with two or three or four individuals, but now they have the chance of being caught, chance of being restrained, chance of being arrested, whatever the case is. So you drastically increase your chances of being safer when you are with a group of people or with a running buddy. But again, that can't be the case for everybody. So if you can't run with a buddy, then just kind of shift your focus back to the other tips that I've mentioned. Run at better times of the day when there are other people around you at least, or at least change up your schedule again to reduce your chances of being targeted in the first place. Number five, carrying protection of some sort. Now, I know it's not always the most convenient having to carry stuff in your hands. Some people don't even run with water in their hands. That's completely your own preference. I personally recommend though that if you are running on a path, especially if you're by yourself early in the morning or late at night, that you carry some sort of self-protection on you. Whether it's a knife, pepper spray, mace, uh, tasers if they're allowed in your area, but some sort of personal protection that if God forbid you are attacked, you are able to defend yourself and at least get away safely. Uh, you can easily find stuff that's easy to carry. It's light, it's usable, it's accessible. You can easily attach it to your shorts, your sports bra, your shirts. If you're carrying a bag of any sort, you can attach it to that. But something that's easily accessible and lightweight that you can enjoy your run without having the hassle of carrying some sort of heavy weapon with you. But again, just my personal preference. I always make sure that I'm protected. If I'm by myself, I recommend that you do the same again, especially if you're running by yourself or if you're in a new area that you're not familiar with 
it's better safe than sorry to have something that you may not need to use rather than being attacked and not having anything at all. So your choice, find something that you can use for self-protection and use it. Last but not least, number six, let somebody know where you are. I don't care if it's a relationship, a family member, a friend, just let somebody know where you are. Tell them where you're going to be running, roughly how long or how far you're going to be running, just so somebody has an idea of where you're at at all times. I understand that some people don't even bring their phones with them, so you're better off to saying, hey, I'm going to go on a quick run real quick. This is how far I'm going. This is where I am. Again, that way if something happens, at least we can narrow down where it happened and roughly kind of figure out either where you are, if God forbid you were abducted, or if something happens and you're attacked, we can at least try and figure out who else was in the area at the time that may have been the predator. So you're better safe than sorry just letting somebody know where you're at. If something changes and you're running longer, you're running shorter, you're going somewhere else, again, just a simple text to update that person, whoever it is that you want to update, just let them know where you're at and that way you can stay safe. So again, overall, these are very simple ideas that not a lot of people unfortunately think about when they're running. Just keep these in the back of your mind. Small little changes like this aren't going to drastically change the way that you run or work out, but they could drastically reduce your chances of being targeted in the first place. Again, do not be ignorant with this. This can happen to anybody at any given day. I don't care who you are. So you're better safe than sorry. Just make sure you're alert. Make sure you're aware. Understand your surroundings. Know who you're with. Know where you're around. And just be safe, people, as much as possible. Enjoy your runs. Stay safe. We'll see you next time.